Hey everyone. So this is just a quick one. It's not an um, immigration thing, but I think it helps to think about these things as well. And I might be wrong, so just please bear with me. Um, in connection with the African Growth Opportunities Act that um, the U.S. has organized with Africa and Asia in Sub-Saharan South Africa, um, yeah, now there's a South African Government Act 25, the land reform, has been deemed illegal. Well, not that anyone was wondering, that it is illegal, it is theft, it is land theft. People have legally purchased it and therefore it's theft. Expropriation without compensation is not something that makes sense financially or legally. So, yes, my point is that it is wrong and I agree with everyone who thinks the same thing. Now, this is something that I know is a, a declaration or whatever uh, act that was brought in and it, um, it uh, it's going to stop in 2025 um, and uh, it's not going to be there forever. I know that. My wife is reading up on it, and she told me, so therefore I know that. Um, my issue is this. Um, when you think about what can happen when South Africa, especially, has broken the rules that the U.S. has set in place, the most obvious thing will be that all trade with the U.S. will be stopped. Therefore, we will only be able to trade with China, most likely, and seeing as the U.S. and Russia, but seeing as the U.S. and China does not like each other at this moment because of the Huawei and all that kind of thing, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Now, if we stop trading with the U.S., that would mean, most likely, sanctions against South Africa, which would mean, most likely, that everyone who is a U.S.-friendly country and also a SA-friendly country will have to start changing their, um, their, their minds about who they are being friendly with. And if you are smart, you will side with the U.S. Because, obviously. Now, let's take, for example, the South American, uh, um, South American countries that is open to the South Africans to immigrate to quite quickly and legally and with very little effort cost you cash but it's an option if you have that in mind or the US in mind and you are a South African citizen and this happens soon sooner than most of us have planned for then it might be an issue a big one uh, if we are sanctioned, we might not be able to go into any of these countries, seeing as it already happened with Zimbabwe, and uh, of all the countries that we've checked, are legal in, for example, Paraguay, Panama, all those areas. You can go in. Namibia, go in. SA, go in. Mozambique, go in. Botswana, go in. Zimbabwe, wait. You need special papers to go in, because you're Zimbabwe. Sanctions. Okay, so if that happens to South Africa, we are stuck here. Well, that exit is no longer an option, is what it comes down to. So, that being said, I will post the videos where I got the whole, um, the fact that it's illegal and theft. And I'll put two videos in the description. Uh, the first one from The Hawk on YouTube and Loving Life as well showing that there are so many people who are currently slightly annoyed with the fact that we are trying to expropriate land without compensation. Um, it's, it's, it's blatant theft. It's nothing else. Uh, it's also um, a way to make people have less and therefore to choke them up financially. Because if you sell your property and you move somewhere else, you have money. If you have property that you've been paying taxes on and water and everything and it's being taken from you, you still have the money that you had, but now you have to pay for accommodation, transport and whatnot. 
So if you think about this, is it is basically uh, uh, often a tangent, often a little different direction from the migrate immigration migration uh, series that I'm busy with. So I'm going to put it in there, but just because I think it's a good piece of information to have. So I'll say it again. Uh, the expropriation is seen as theft, therefore breaking the African Growth Opportunities Act. I need to read it because I don't remember it. This act is null and void after 2025. Uh, that's about just off six years from now. And the U.S. has al already stated that these countries should look for other means. That does not mean it is null and void now. So therefore, the rules have been broken now. Therefore, sanctions are an option now. And that might hinder everyone who's trying to get out of the country, like us. So um, that being said, I'm going to keep this video short. And um, yeah, so if any one of you have any more information on this subject or think I'm wrong, think I'm right, as always... Go comment. Um, a lot of the discussions go on there sometimes. Sometimes it's just people's uh, opinions. Sometimes it's people saying thanks, and I just love all of it. All the all the comments, I love. I really like watching the comments, and I appreciate everyone watching. Please remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Click the like button because that makes me happy, and ring the bell to know if you want to see whenever I, we post anything and if you have people that you think might benefit from our videos or if you want to tell video, people about our videos please share these videos and help us build up our subscriber account and that is all from me for now and i hope you have a great day and it's the start of a new week so um go on be blessed stay safe and uh, i'll see you next time cheers